I have owned my Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus for about three weeks now and it feels like the honeymoon period is kind of over. I still love the car. But now, after owning it for a while, you start to realize that there are a few things that can be improved. Today we're going to talk about one of them and also going to give you an update about the mods that's coming later here on the channel. Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna have a look at the Tesla screen and the stock screen is a little bit too glary for me and I also have some sort of sticky fingers so whenever I move my fingers around the screen it kind of sometimes hit the wrong buttons. So what I want to do is install this, which I got yesterday. I thought I was going to get it way earlier yesterday. I wanted to make the video last night, but uh, it came pretty late. So we're going to do this today. Matte screen protector. I think this is going to look great. I've seen how it looks and I love the way it looks compared to the original one. So that's the plan for today. And here is my painting that I'm currently working on. I started painting again yesterday. I haven't painted in about two years, maybe. So I just threw up some colors. This is the first layer. I love to do sort of ocean style paintings like this. These are made with knife and brushes, of course. So you get these shades here, these highlights or structures on top of the surface. So that's what I'm gonna do rest of the day today. But now let's go down in the garage and let's find the Tesla and install the screen protector. <laughs> glare in this screen not necessarily right now when it's a bit overcast in the morning like this but when the sun is on it's very glary and I want to have a screen protector that has this more of a matte surface and another reason why I want to get this specific screen protector is because it makes it easier to just use your finger on the screen the one the thing I like about it the most is that it feels a lot smoother I don't have sticky fingers anymore and it flows a lot better over the screen. And usually one of my problems is that I don't have a button for these two. The, I, and sometimes when I wanna lower the AC, I accidentally open up the fan speed. So I wish there was some sort of buttons for that. And one, maybe one center button right here that controlled just the AC. That's the only thing that I kinda wanna have a button for. All right, so I have not opened this package completely yet. So I'm going to show you what's inside. And if you want to get this yourself, the link is down in the description alongside with my Tesla referral link, which gives you a thousand free supercharger miles when you order your new Tesla. So you want to check that out. So let's see what we got here. We got two pockets like this or two pouches like this. I'm guessing these are the wipes to clean the screen. So let's open these up first. So you got the, I don't know if you can see that, it's LCD cleaning wipes and then you have the dust absorber and this is a sticker that you just go around and take up the, the additional dust things that are left after you've done with this. So let's start with cleaning with the wipes here. You can see all the fingerprints and marks on the screen already. And I don't know, it's not really sunny today so you can't barely see how glary this screen is but it's very glary specifically down here in Florida when you have sunshine all the time so it's kind of a good idea at least in my opinion to put this matte screen protector on and of course it's going to protect the screen from whatever damage or scratches you might get on it all right so let's see what else we got to do before we put it on here there's another pouch here i think this is probably the same things it is so let's do the dust absorber sticker right here and then just tap all over the place to get the additional dust specks off the screen then we might as well use the second wipe as well because why not make sure it's really clean and nothing underneath all right it's not gonna get much cleaner than that all right so let's see what do we got here step one clean the screen that's done peel off the protective black tag mask before application the temp application the tempered glass all right it's pretty straightforward i guess this is it's basically a big sticker just like you put on your phone so this is the piece itself i'm guessing you can see how how matte it is compared to the original one so it's going to make some of the text might be a little bit more blurry than you're used to so what i'm doing right now is just peeling off as you can see the back side right here trying not to touch 
that surface. I'm gonna get any dust or anything like that onto the surface. And then I'm guessing <laughs> all we gotta do is fit it onto the display right here. And there we go. You can see that it's automatically removing all the bubbles and air underneath and it fits pretty perfectly onto the display here everything seems to be exactly in the correct corner and if you have bubbles that stay inside there all you got to do is take one of these wipes wipe it to the corner or the bottom part of the screen and it will pop up after a couple of wipes like this there we go it's gone I want to give you an update on what's going on with the mods for this car so as you know i already put some tint on the car and it looks fantastic this is called limo black I'm not sure it's legal anywhere else than in florida and i've also ordered the spoiler on the back here from rpm tesla ordered it almost a week ago so i'm not sure how long it will take for them to ship it out and the big deal that's going to happen within a month or so is that these wheels are going to be replaced. I already know what type of wheels I want, but I don't know what type of finish I want to get on these wheels. They're going to be 20 inch. I'm not going to say exactly what type of wheels are going to be, but I'm pretty sure those are the ones I'm going to get. I'm going to post them once I get closer to ordering so that you can help me out with the finish on those wheels so we can get the right finish for the right car and i wanted to kind of work in combination with everything else that's black on the car but the problem is i don't like black wheels so i have to figure that one out if you want to see how this is going to turn out i can't first of all wait for the black spoiler that's supposed to come here and uh, the material how that is going to look i'll keep you posted on that and the wheels as well of course if you want to see how that goes it goes without saying, you have to subscribe to the channel, obviously. I want to take a minute to say thank you to everyone that's purchased a new Tesla using my referral link down in the description. I hope you enjoy your first 1,000 free supercharger miles. That's what you get when you use my link down in the description. I also get 1,000 free supercharger miles, so that's why I want to say thank you to everyone who purchased a brand new Tesla using my link in the description. Thank you.